Hello everyone. In one of the episodes, I talked about how to use Stuffbook OEM config through AirWatches Workspace ONE. Today, I will be showing how to use it through Sodi Movie Control. And just to reiterate for the folks who have not viewed the previous tutorials, Stuffbook OEM config is one of the tools in Productivity Plus software platform that allows you to configure and deploy Panasonic Android devices in development and deployment stage of a project. So let's get into the details now. Before we see how to implement Topbook OEM config in Panasonic Android devices, let me explain what is OEM config. OEM config is a standard that EMM or MDM providers and OEMs follow to make OEM specific management policies available to IT admins. It gets installed in an Android enterprise managed device in the form of an application which is hosted on Google Play Store or Manage Google Play Store. OEM specific configuration and restrictions get silently installed in the device through EMM or MDM using Android Enterprise. The diagram shown here gives an overview of the process with the main components. The OEM config app made by Panasonic is called Tahook OEM config and it is part of our Productivity Plus software platform. So in my last tutorial on OEM config, I showed you AirWatch's workspace one. Uh, now let's look at Sodi Movie Control. So you can see the dashboard here. I will be going to global settings and then I will reach Android Plus. So this is where I need to find out how to add the application. So we'll go to application catalog and uh, just put a name as Dubbook OEM config test. So I can add it as a managed Google Play. So I'll be adding the binding. Now I searched the book OEM config and it already shows up because the application is already um, approved in my console but if it is not there uh, if you are trying to approve it for the first time so we will go into manage Google Play Store so here you look for the book OEM so this gives you the top book OEM config made by Panasonic mobile communications so here you can see it already says approved so now if you are doing it for the first time you will have to approve it at your end and uh, yeah, this just shows you the descriptions so I'll just go back here and uh, I'll select the book OEM config then you need to cut apply the configurations right so I went to advanced and I will just select the application type as mandatory click on enable app configuration so now you will see a list of different configurations that are available in OEM config so here you can see there is uh, Wi-Fi configurations network IP VPN I'm just going to scroll down and allow you to see what are the settings that are available and at the same time I'll, I'll try to find out where is the user buttons where you can configure the hardware buttons to trigger uh, the barcode reader okay so as I scroll down you can see uh, there are so many different settings are available which you can do it from OEM config and these are these are the similar settings that are also available on the Panasonic rapid configuration tool okay so now I found where the user button is there so uh, let's say you have a Panasonic device FZ N1 you have the right side and a left side buttons right and I entered the mode as number 17 so this is corresponding to a barcode scanner uh, you can find the numbers in the uh, Panasonic rapid configuration tools manual now I will also just as an example uh, let's say I disable the uh, recent button on Android and also I'm going to disable the back button so these are a uh, few settings that I'm going to put in the OEM configs uh, this configuration file I press OK and then uh, then again press OK now you need to assign this application so this just imagine this as any other application that is available on managed google play store 
so I created the application I added the configurations now I'm just going to push these uh, things into the device so once that is done the applications will be sent to the uh, device